feelings I think about uh, the, the campaign uh, was uh, started a bit on the slow side but uh, in the end it was a very uh, big success and I think very important was the support from different sides. Already 700 CDs are uh, sold to this, that's before the CD is already at the market so mm. that's, that's, that's fantastic. bit worried at the beginning but uh, at the end of the campaign I was abroad and I didn't check my uh, internet things and when I came home it was a huge surprise of course and uh, the campaign was almost finished and it was like wow Because this is our first time that we record with a trio, and I, I can I can say it from my side, but it's really a pleasure because they are very. I mean, you. <laughs> no, you have very nice colleagues, and uh, it's a very nice mood during the rehearsals and during the projects. Just intonation is um, something that uh, came not really from the first moment because we performed this yeah. piece uh, even more than 10 years ago. We decided to record this or to perform this in, without uh, vibrato, which is I think the first artistic statement uh, to make the sound as, as clean as possible. But of course this brings back uh, a lot of other problems. At the end, we we found out that this just intonation was the best way to solve some intonation problems because when you always want to intonate uh, always in, the, in a just way, you get on a drift. So you must create in a way a knot in the scale, and this gives this um, a tension and and a relax moments through the scale mm -hmm. or in in the harmonies. And when you have this just intonation, your ear gets more refined, you, you listen more refined. So we'll, you will get more chords, perfect, perfect uh, intonated, and other chords will sound with a lot of um, yeah, vibration inside, and then release again. So that's something you will have to listen to on recording. Anyway, the feeling is it, you get more harmony, so it's it's uh, it's. I think that the moments yeah, yeah, that yeah. are painful are more painful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the, the the moments that are beauty are more beauty. Yeah. Full. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As a sound engineer, I always have the last, the, the product, the, the last um, result in mind. Mm -hmm. That's true. And um, this time, I think there might be people who will think there's something wrong with some chords because they sound out of tune for them, for people who are used to well-tempered tuning. But many people, I think, will feel, really feel this, um, uh, the effect of this just uh, intonation 
and you can enjoy and you can um, get more into this piece with it. And I'm very happy because also of this great acoustic of the church, it envelops the voices and the strings uh, perfectly so that um, it is a great exp impression of a big um, landscape. the good high quality and just working until that uh, we have a perfection and yeah that's okay put together Tabat Mater, which is from the Roman tradition, next to Semeron, which is the Orthodox, Greek Orthodox mm -hmm. tradition. Is, uh, so it's actually a nice contrast. Yeah. yeah. It's another nice, nice balancing. CDs are uh, bought, sold, uh, sold, <laughs> bought, sold. You bought. So bought, I bought, bought. You bought. I, I bought. I, I bought. I bought uh, several CDs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I sit at home with all these boxes. <laughs> so I said to my pupils, every pupil, you have to uh -huh. buy one CD because no, because the, I'm old. Uh, because <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> no, old and bought. Old and bought. Already 700 CDs. And also, you seem bought made a fantastic summer. Yeah. 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 